The area we're talking about is near Flagstaff, Arizona. The landmark is the San Francisco Peaks, or Nuvatu Ovi we call it. Pomolovi represents among the final footsteps of Hopi clans on their journey to the Hopi mesas. The clans <clears throat> in Hopi were on a migration as part of a spiritual covenant with our spiritual leader here we could refer to as Masawa. Visitors will try to appreciate how the Hopis emotionally feel about Homolovi, that it is not just a archaeological site, it is not just a ruin, it's not something that was abandoned. It's still a living piece of our history and our emotions. At Homolobi, we had a number of clans that were very prominent. And among the early, early clans were the Tobacco Clan uh, and also the uh, Coyote Clan. And the Tobacco Clan, uh, they say, lived at Homolobi 1, and the Coyote Clan lived at Homolobi 2. And they were acting as sort of uh, uh, guardians of this area because they knew that other clans were going to be coming in. Little Colorado River and then during those years we farmed along the Little Colorado River we planted corn different kinds of corn melon squash beans and even uh, cotton we planted over there and of course uh, it was the hub of the migrating clans and they stayed there for a while then they went their own own different directions it wasn't until late 1400s when there was a lot of mosquitoes started to accumulate there and they would bite the younger ones and they would start to die off and that's one of the reasons why we left that place. Um, they had resided at Omolowi for a long time before they migrated from there and while there the scouts were looking out and they saw a light up here on the mesas and uh, so they were wondering well who lives there you know so they um, were destined to go on their journey to to meet up in this area. So they decided to leave from there on and, and make their journey again. And uh, from that point, uh, which they're at Sibadalka, they're behind this um, butte, they call it uh, Lakuna. And that's where they had also practiced their Lakuna with me for the last time too, to carry that on and that was their their way of offering to the village where they were going to be residing or to go in. Homolovi is very important to the people of Sapalovi because not only through did we migrate through there, uh, we went through a hard life over there. We survived because we believed in our faith. We all worked together as a community 
we took care of our children, even though the children may have belonged to other people. But as Hopi, as community, we take care of each other. People on the outside that visit these sites um, should know that just in general, Hopi had migrated from all different directions. And these, this is kind of what shows our flag of who we are as native indigenous people. Not one, but Sanao <laughs> 